What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an area plan in our project. So last video, we learned how to create our uh, color scheme. All right, so this time around, we're going to create an area plan for our level one entry level. So we're going to create the gross building area plan for entry level. All right, so let's get this started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is from our architecture tab, let's create an area plan by going to the room and area panel. You can see here the area drop down. So look for the area plan. So this is the one. So it will create an area plan view. So let's click this. And then the type that we will be using here instead of rentable, I'm going to use here the gross building. So that's the type of the area plan. And then we will be creating for zero one entry level. OK, just select that one. And then after that, select here. OK. OK, so automatically create area boundary lines associated with external walls and gross building area. Yes. OK, so I want that to be done. So select yes. And then looking at your project browser, you can now see here the area plan. So you can click that and then you will now see your zero entry level under the area plans. And this is the area plan. So for this one, I do not want to show my property line. I do not want to show the topography and also the plantings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. So you can type VV. You can type VV for visibility graphic overrides. So this is the one. So let's look for model categories tab and then click <clears throat> one category and then type T for topography. Let's turn off the visibility of that and let's look for planting. I don't want that planting. What else? Property lines. Property lines can uh, can be found here on the annotation categories. Let's look for letter P. Do you have property lines here? Okay, I think this is the one. So let's uncheck that one and then let's select it. Okay. And there you go. Wait, it doesn't hide the property line. So let's just click this one. Right click and then let's hide it okay hide elements click and there you go okay and then you will also notice here that right after you create your area plan so you can see this uh a purple color that is actually the boundary of our gross building area boundary right so that's the boundary. So what we are going to do here is we are going to modify the area boundaries to place area objects. Okay, so uh, typically an area boundary will contain more than one room and space. Okay, so that's why. So let me just edit this boundary here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this line, this boundary line. To this boundary line here okay so i want that to be close so to do that i will use here the trim extend to corner let's click this one and then after that let's click this line here and then let's click this line here and there you go then select modify as you can see it's now close okay up to this point here Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do, actually, there's an area here already created. Okay, there's an area created in that particular uh, floor. Now, this one is a room, if you remember on our last topic. So we have a topic on how to place room. But for this one, so there is an area here already. I'm not sure what is this. So let's click this and then let's check the properties. So that is an area okay so so what we are going to do is we are going to edit this one so instead of having this whole area here we're going to subdivide this okay so to do that what i'm going to do is let's go to the architecture let's modify the area boundary let's look for the area boundary so it defines the boundaries for area so let's click this one and then using the line tool so what i want to do is i want to create a line here 
okay and then how about okay so how about i'll just put it here so click okay and then let me just click somewhere here okay and then let's click somewhere here and then i'll just click to this line here there you go and i'll just select your modify and then you will notice now that this area here is now divided so it's not included this area here anymore because we created a area boundary so i'm gonna click this area and then i'm gonna drag that somewhere in the middle here same with the tag let's click outside and then let's click the tag let's drag that here okay and then after that let us uh, put some area here area tag so from the rooms and area you can click this and then let's look for the area so let's click this one and then let's place one here okay right so let's place area mm, this one is a very big one so that's why i'm going to subdivide again instead of placing the area for this whole area here so let me just modify that again let's create an area boundary so let's click area boundary and mm, how about using the line tool again i'm gonna i'm gonna click here and then i'm up to here all right so i want that to be up to this area here and then after that i'll click here to close there you go so how about i'll just create another line here and let me close it here there you go and then escape once so that it will not terminate it mm, about okay so i'll create another one here i want to close up to this point here okay and let's place one here okay so one here up to this point here and then close again then escape once and then I want this to be extended line so let's enclose that all the way here and then move down here something like that okay so basically I'm just subdividing our uh, area boundary so let's divide this one there you go all right okay so let's place our area again area Okay, and then let's place one here I'll just place it here and I want here this one and I also want to place one here area here and one here there you go and then after that I'm gonna select here modify okay so after we place now all the areas the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to edit the name of course we don't want that to be called all area so we, we, we want to put a name here a logical name so let's say for example for this area here I want this to be called as uh, service so that is my service area okay so service area so let's say this one is my administration area okay and then let me just drag that tag put it here just to tidy up and let me you can also do this you can click the area the area oh not the room but the area this one yeah because sometimes you will be able to select the room right but don't select the room we select the area so let's click the area and then you can also specify the name here okay so let's say for example this is for the circulation area enter and then apply and there you go okay now for this one this is my area again oh, or I just click the tag just to make sure because sometimes unknowingly you are changing the name of the room instead of the area so I'll just select the area directly and then change the name this one so let's say again I want this to be the service area 
and let's say this one is instruction area this one is my service area again and this one okay so maybe this is my instruction area as well there you go okay so it's all named up so the next thing that we're gonna do after we rename our services here or the area so we are now going to create a color scheme so remember that's our last topic okay so you should be able to review that one check out the the last video before this one okay so let's create a color scheme let's go to the annotate tab and then after that go to the color fill oh no so instead of doing that before you need to do this one color scheme let's go to the properties of our area plan gross building and then let's look for the color scheme let's select here none and then let's click this so make sure this is areas gross building and then select that one so we will be using that so instead of area type so let's use the name so area name and then just select OK and there you go so these are now the four uh, areas that we have created so I'll just use these colors so I'll just select here OK and there you have it OK now the next thing that we are gonna do is let's put the color fill that's the time we can now select color fill legend let's go to the annotate tab and then color fill panel look for the color fill legend just click that and then just place it just beside there you go right okay so basically that's how you create your area plan now the next thing that we are gonna do is we are going to create our uh, gross building area schedule okay so we want to create a schedule of our uh, gross building area plan okay so how to create a schedule so to create the schedule what you can do is go to the project browser and then look for the schedules right click that and then select new schedule quantities now another way of creating a schedule is by going to your uh, view tab click the schedules here on the create panel you click the drop down arrow and then select schedule quantity so just click that one and there you go so you are now going to create your schedule and then we're going to look for area area gross building click that one and then you can also change the name here if you want so areas gross building you can change the name here schedule building component and then select ok that's it just click that and then from the fields tab so for our available fields so i want that uh, i want my schedule to show the name here just double click that to be added here on our scheduled fields and then aside from name of course we want the area just double click that there you go and then let's uh, sort it so i'm gonna sort it by name and then I want to show the grand total so maybe totals only I'll just select totals only and then uh, itemize every instance and check this one okay I don't want to itemize all the area in my schedule so I, I uncheck that one and then I want that to be formatted so for the area I want this to be calculate the total click all right anyway you can still modify the schedule after you create it so let's see what uh, how it looks like so let's click OK and there you go right so there's now your schedule so can I adjust that go cool. all right so let's check the properties let's try to modify our schedule let's go to sorting so maybe for this one how about title count total so let's see how it looks like there you go so grand total eight and then this is the total area okay so every time you add a uh, area in your building it will be added here on our area schedule automatically 
So let's say, for example, let me just give you an example, uh, going back to my floor plan here. So let's say I want to divide this area here. So I will go to the architecture, area boundary. Let's use a line here. So let's say I want here, for example, and then I click. There you go. So as you can see, it's now divided. So I want to create an area here. So this is a room that's not an area. So we're going to create an area here. And then let's place it here. Okay. And then let's say I will call this, uh, for example, testing. Example only. Okay. So if you go to the schedule again, it's now updated click and there you go right so basically that's how you uh that's how you create your schedule and of course that's how you create your area plan okay so it's here there you go so you can always change that name okay wait what's this so this is the name right name and this is the area let me just make it caps okay and then every time you select it here from the schedule as you can see it highlights on your uh, floor plan automatically very useful okay so that's it for this video so hopefully you learned something from this one if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can uh, put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.